Colin Bannon wants to make documentaries. This might sound maybe sad, but it's like basically my life is a making movies. He's a senior visual and performing arts major at Syracuse University who's volunteered at the Syracuse Film Festival for three years. You mean our festival poster. This year, Bannon is showing his movie True Stories from Rug City for the first time in a film festival. What the heck are you guys doing here? True Stories follows two filmmakers from Amsterdam, Holland, as they visit Amsterdam, New York, in search of their national identity. Who else would you need? The film is a direct result of the networking opportunities this festival offers filmmakers. Colin um, just by virtue of being involved in the festival and going to the events with the filmmakers and getting to know people, uh, really had an opportunity to expand his horizons in terms of, of resources and getting some input from two very well-known and respected Dutch filmmakers in creating his documentary. So that, I think, is probably the most valuable thing that people take away from the festival is, the, is being part of the filmmaking community. Independent filmmakers face many challenges that Hollywood filmmakers don't have to worry about. Stop it! The biggest ones really are exposure and trying to get your film into the marketplace and, and get into a position where people are actually going to start watching it and buying it um, because ultimately that's what you depend on for your income. One of the things that I do know is that talking with the artists when they call me um, they very often say, I spent every penny that I, I borrowed from all my family, all my friends, I've maxed up my credit cards to make this film, and now I don't have the money to be able to submit it to a film festival. So for filmmakers with limited resources, a festival like the Syracuse Film Festival can be an important stepping stone in their careers. You don't have to go through the Hollywood system, you don't have to have a multi-million dollar film with big name stars stars in order to create something that is accepted on the on film festival circuit and show and it, it still has the opportunity to go the next step and Bannon is hoping this festival can be a stepping stone for him it's a great opportunity to meet other filmmakers and talk to other filmmakers I mean for example last year I was able to make this connection with these guys and now I'm going to be hopefully helping on, on the real film. Just through these doors at the IMAX Theater in Syracuse, Bannon's film is being shown for the first time in public. And though he says he may not have a lot of money, this won't stop him from making films in the future. I think that if you write a screenplay with what you have, you knowing what you, with what your means are and your limits are, and you work with what you have, uh, usually you can get around, you know, uh, not having any money. And today's technology is making it easier to create films. One of the really nice things about the digital revolution in filmmaking is that it's brought the cost of being able to make a film down to, uh, to very little. Now it's so much easier to make films. Anyone that has a camera and a computer can make a film. But to make a film successful, it needs to be seen by the public. And Bannon is excited that people besides his friends went to the screening of his movie. It was great. I, well, I, wasn't expe I was not expecting anyone from Amsterdam to be there, so it was... It was a great feedback, I mean, because I, I didn't know how people would, from there would react to it. As he looks past graduation, Bannon says he's a little nervous about making documentaries. It's great to have the instant feedback from professors, you know, like, this is wrong, this is right, and that's going to be gone very shortly. Once I leave here, who knows what's going to happen. But he says he does enjoy leaving some things to chance. I kind of enjoyed that kind of indie route where you make a film independently of a studio and uh, shop around film festivals and try to get buzz and, um, get picked up at the studio. I just, there's something really kind of exciting about that, you know, like the, the uncertainty. Bannon eventually hopes to show true stories from Rug City where it was filmed in Amsterdam, New York. Allison Lazars, NCC News.